Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me and welcome to Fall Food Friday Week 1. I'm participating in this awesome fall food collaboration that Fallon from Moss TV hosts and I thought I'd share with you one of our favorite soups which is the broccoli cheddar soup. Okay, so I'm showing you here you're going to need some diced onion, some garlic, some shaved parmesan, some flour, milk, or heavy cream, Half and half is what I used here, but you can kind of use a combination of whatever you have on hand. I've got some matchstick carrots and some broccoli florets as well, of course, as some butter. And then I've got just a couple of different cheeses. I've got some cheddar that I grated. I've got the Mexican blend as well as some chicken broth. And then if I don't dump my garlic all over my counter, I'm going to show you what you need to do. So you're going to start by melting your butter and don't worry, I've got the measurements down below for you so that you can, you know, write it down or take a screenshot of the description box and you'll be able to make this recipe with the exact measurements at home. All right. So start by melting your butter over medium low heat. Just keep an eye on it here. I did speed it up a little bit as far as filming this. I didn't want you to have to literally sit there and watch my butter melt, but uh, melt your butter once it's totally melted. Then we're going to add in our finely diced onion and our minced garlic. I am using like the jarred minced garlic. You can use fresh. That would be even better, but honestly, if this is what you have on hand, like I often do, then it is perfect. So just, um, you can see they're well coated here in the butter. I just stirred them around and then this does take a little bit and you want to make sure that heat is nice and low, uh, just to where it kind of bubbles like that, but it's not burning. Keep a close eye on it. Stir it frequently. You want to sweat these onions down, but, um, you don't want it to get, you know, you don't want it to get carried away and burn and scorch and all of that. We're not trying to brown the onions. We're just trying to sweat them down. Okay. So, um, uh, once that happens, then we'll add in our flour. And this is kind of the important thing that you want to go in this order, because if you just dump it all in there, um, your onions aren't going to have time to kind of get, you know, all cooked down and then your flour might be lumpy in there so just to get the best order just go butter then the onions and garlic or if you don't want onions in it just do garlic and then you know then do your flours okay so as you can see here i have got my onions and my garlic kind of cooked down here but they're not caramelized they're not burnt they're not browned they're just nicely sweated you know sweat out here um, they've just had a time, a few minutes to cook down. So now we're going to go in with our flour and stir this around. If you find that you need a little bit more flour than what I called for in the recipe, then do that. Just customize it to what you need here. But what you're looking for is that all the flour is absorbed into the butter and that there's not a ton of butter left over. So it's thick, but it's not, you know, tons of flour just sitting in the bottom of the pan either. Okay, cook that down for about a minute or do you want to get that raw flour taste out? And then we're going to add in our half and half. Now, I did half and half and heavy cream. You can do uh, half and half and heavy cream or you can do all heavy cream. You can do all half and half. You can do uh, half and half and milk. You can do, you know, whatever you need to do here. You can do heavy cream and milk. Like I said, customize it however you need. You could use lactose-free milk here. You could do probably an almond milk here. It might give it a different flavor. I wouldn't do sweetened almond milk, but you could certainly do like an oat milk or something or an almond milk that's unsweetened, that sort of thing. Just be careful. You don't want to add the sweetness to it, but you can use whatever milk you've got on hand. All right, so just cook this down. We just want to cook this for a few minutes until it thickens and starts to warm up, but we do not want to bring this to a rolling boil. You'll see here that I did add some more milk, um, but or some more heavy cream, but you can certainly do less or more. I just kind of thought it was getting a little thicker than I wanted. I wanted to make sure that I had enough liquid. So I'll give you the final measurements down below. 
then you also saw me add in chicken broth and you're going to see me do it a few times here and stir it in um that's the biggest thing here is that you at this point you do not want to walk away think of it like when you're making a gravy and you have to constantly stir 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 you do not want to let this go without you keeping an eye on it so it's kind of tedious for a few moments here for you know maybe five or ten minutes total that you're going to need to stand here and constantly be on top of it but it is important it will get you that nice creamy but smooth consistency okay when everything is heated through and you've brought everything up to temperature but it's not bubbling or boiling then you're going to add in your cheeses so I am adding in again the Parmesan, the shredded cheddar, as well as some of the Mexican blend cheese I added in as well. And I just put it all in here and then again we're going to stir, we're going to stir, we're going to stir. Keep it moving. You do not want to let that cheese scorch on the bottom of your pan. That will not be a good and delicious uh, opportunity for your soup. Um, but keep on it. I promise you, this is as difficult as it gets. You can totally do this. My family thinks this is better than Panera, and we are huge Panera soup fans. Um, so if you like Panera's broccoli cheese soup, we thoroughly enjoy this. Um, it was a huge, huge hit. I sent home some with my mother-in-law, and my husband took it to work, and it's just a huge hit. So once all of my cheese is in here and I've let it simmer for a minute or two um, well I don't even say simmer because we're not getting it up to a bubbling point yet um, because we don't want to burn the cheese um, then I'm gonna add in my salt and pepper here so I did the fresh ground like Himalayan pink salt and fresh ground black pepper so you can see it once it's in there but it's kind of hard to see because the way I had my camera sitting uh, it's kind of hard to see me do the uh, actual grinding but uh, into the soup there but it's there promise so um, you don't need a lot of other seasonings for this though just your onions and garlic once they're you know browned in that or cooked down into that butter and then your salt and pepper I promise you it is fabulous um, so I'm just gonna keep stirring and stirring and stirring until all the cheese is melted then when all the cheese is melted we will add in our shredded carrots here in just one second here they go and our broccoli as well now you could add other veggies to this you could add potatoes to this you could do whatever you wanted with it is all there is to it it really is that simple it is that delicious so once your veggies are in here I just let this come to a simmer put the lid on it and I let this low simmer on medium low heat I stir it you know every five or ten minutes or so and just keep my eye on it um, while it thickens up and just give that time for your broccoli and your carrots to uh, cook through so uh, just to note here I did chop my broccoli florets up uh, to make it kind of you know less chunky pieces but also let it cook down faster but that's everything that there is to this soup all in all it came together in about 35 minutes maybe 40 total uh, but it was super easy super delicious thank you to Fallon for having me in this open collaboration thank y'all for joining me and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.